I'm in Windows Server 2019, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a forward lookup zone. Now, this will work in Windows Server 2019, 2016, 2012, 2008, all the way back to Windows 2000. What we do is we see our domain controller in DNS Manager. Well, how did we get to DNS Manager? Well, if we're in a domain controller, then you'll just go to Server Manager from your Start menu and click on Tools, and then click on DNS, and then that will take you to the DNS Manager. Once you're in the DNS Manager, then we can go and create as many different zones as we want. And we can see a whole bunch of different zones here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new forward lookup zone. So I'm going to right click and choose New Zone. And we see a wizard comes up. Now you have several different types of zones that you can create here. And since this is a domain controller, it gives us the option for the Active Directory zone as well. So what the Active Directory zone does is it automatically makes a copy of whatever zone I'm going to create to any other domain controller. If it's not a domain controller, then there won't be any copy made. So for instance, I have this file server, uh, DNS server beneath that. That's not a domain controller. So if I create a zone here and I leave this box checked, it will not make a copy of it in the file server one, but if I have a server called DC2, for instance, it will make a copy there if it's a domain controller. So I'm going to create a primary zone, but I'm going to uncheck this because I do, do not have any other domain controllers. And if I did, I don't want to replicate this. So I'm going to click next and I'm going to give the zone a name. So I'll just call this test.123 and click next. And it says, hey, do you want to create a new file with this file name? Yes, I do. If I already have an existing one, I can choose that. Now here comes the part where I can choose uh, my security. I can either allow both non-secure and secure updates, which is not quite as secure. And you can see it's a significant vulnerability. Or I can choose do not allow dynamic updates because that is more secure. So I'll go ahead and choose that. Click Next and choose finish. Now when I click on test one, two, three, you can see it automatically creates a couple of records. One is start of authority. And all that means is that this server is the authority for this zone, meaning it can make changes to this zone. Then we have name server. Where's the, where's the server doing the name resolution? Well, it's doing it on itself, which is DC1. So anytime you create a new zone on a domain controller uh, or uh, any, any kind of server where you make it the primary zone, then it's going to show these two records. I can right click on the new zone and there are some properties that we can change, such as we can choose whether or not to allow dynamic updates, we can start, restart, that kind of thing. We can go to the start of authority, make some changes here if we'd like, such as the refresh interval. We can also make copies of the zone to other servers. So we can allow other servers to uh, see copies of those by doing what's called a zone transfer. And I did that in another video in this playlist. You can click on Wins if you're using an older setup where you still use Win servers. Very few people have that, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. And here's the Name Servers tab. So if you have other Name Servers here, then you can add them. So for instance, if I added File Server 1 and my Zone Transfer says only to servers listed in the Name Server tab, then I can replicate to File Server 1. So I'll just go ahead and type in File Server 1 and click Resolve. And it finds it, but it says it's not authoritative. That's okay. Once this is done and we add that zone in, it will become authoritative. So you can ignore that error. And then we can apply and click OK. So we've now created a brand new zone called Test123. There's lots of other things you can do, such as adding new records, a host record, alias, mail exchange record, all those different kinds of things. So check out the other videos in this playlist and you'll see how to do all these different things. And thanks for watching.